everyone, a toast to 15 years of World of Warcraft. With the re-release of World of Warcraft Classic The Burning Crusade this week, we've been feeling all kinds of nostalgic. WoW is nearly 20 years old. Through the years between its boom, fall, and then resurgence with Classic, it has made a major cultural impact on all of media. All right, chunks, let's do this. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at what we think are the best references to World of Warcraft in pop culture. Warcraft after 15 <laughs> years. <laughs> what's going on? Are any of you familiar with what's referred to as a Leroy Jenkins? Now, as it's going to be important to multiple of our future references, let's quickly explain the Leroy Jenkins meme. In 2005, a World of Warcraft clip went viral where a group of clan mates were discussing the plan in meticulous detail on how they were going to go about the upcoming raid encounter. Uh, I think it's a pretty good plan. We should be able to pull it off this time. Uh, what do you think, Abdul? Can you give me a number crunch real quick? But right off the break and failing to follow the plan whatsoever, a legend was born as Leroy Jenkins charged into battle headlong, screaming his own name as a battle cry, forever cementing a meme to refer to for whenever you have an overly aggressive teammate that just won't chill out. going far too aggressive, leaving the team behind, and making everyone else's lives more difficult. Uh, All right, thumbs up. Ready, guys, Let's or... do this. Leroy Jenkins! Oh my god, he just ran in. Starting off with blockbuster movies, our top blockbuster movie World of Warcraft reference goes to 2009 zombie hit, Zombieland. Pizza boxes, code red Mountain Dew, pride, nowhere. Dignity, long gone. Virginity, totally justifiable to speculate on. By 2010, World of Warcraft would reach its all-time subscriber peak of 12 million, all paying 15 bucks a month, just like Jesse Eisenberg in this Zombie Land clip. Staying up late, surviving on pizza and Mountain Dew is a near-perfect representation of the typical WoW player. The only thing they're missing here is Cheeto dust on his fingers, but otherwise, they nailed it. Touchdown. Yeah, it only works with Doritos. Why only Doritos? You ask too many questions, Billy. Next up, a more subtle movie reference for you. You're probably familiar with 2013's Wreck-It Ralph villain support group, featuring all manner of baddies, including the ghosts from Pac-Man and Street Fighter's M. Bison. You probably missed this incredibly subtle World of Warcraft reference. In just a couple frames of this train station is an adorable shout out to Leroy Jenkins himself, written in his own voice, with multiple vowels emulating how the legend let out his famous battle cry. And one last movie bonus clip. In this interview clip on The Graham Norton Show, Giga Chad gamer Henry Cavill explains how he missed the call from Zack Snyder telling him that he landed the role of Superman. But like, did you hear the phone ringing? I did. And you chose to ignore it? Absolutely. <laughs> Next up, on to World of Warcraft TV show references. Hey, next time you're online playing World of Warcraft, don't even think about chatting with me. World of Warcraft? There's been a handful of these with small references, like My Name is Earl or How I Met Your Mother, imitating the historic Leroy Jenkins charge into battle. But one of our favorites is Family Guy's 2018 recreation of the events of that fabled incident, and extra points to them for recreating the graphical aesthetics of the game itself. This Family Guy episode was Veteran Guy from 2018, just a few short years ago, really showing you the staying power this meme has and the cultural significance of World of Warcraft on pop culture on the whole. What do you think, Joe? Can you give me a number crunch real quick? Yeah, give me a sec. I'm coming up with 32.33. Uh, Repeating, of course. Okay, that's a lot better than we usually do. So let's... Leroy Jenkins! Oh my God, he just ran in. Let's go! Stick to the plan! Let's go! Let's go! But last up in the TV show references, you had to know this was coming. Famously in 2006, South Park, in partnership with Blizzard Entertainment, made the WoW-centered episode Make Love, Not Warcraft. I am social 
socializing. I'm logged on to an MMORPG with people from all over the world and getting XP with my party using TeamSpeak. In 2006, the game was definitely building and growing quickly, but there definitely was a stereotype of the typical WoW player at that time, which was rife for the South Park comedy to create some of the funniest and most over-the-top representations of gamers ever. You can just hang outside in the sun all day tossing a ball around, or you can sit at your computer and do something that matters. An image of us that is typically used in memes online whenever anybody wants to degrade gamers. As the junk food chugging, World of Warcraft grinding no lives we can sometimes tend to be. I mean, guilty as charged, let's be honest. Hold on, this fight could last more than 12 hours. What if we run out of food? Don't worry, I have that covered. Ma'am? Yes, hon? More Hot Pockets! Right away, hon. That's uber cool. But after 2006, especially as the game's population ballooned to outrageous levels, it wasn't just us hyper nerds that played World of Warcraft, everyone did. Which was certainly a message they were trying to send out with their marketing campaign at the height of the game's popularity, featuring famous celebrities like William Shatner, Mr. T, Mr. Bean, and living meme Chuck Norris. At this point, not just World of Warcraft, but gaming entertainment had already began taking over the mainstream. So it wasn't out of place to see our favorite celebrities celebrities not just admitting to, but happily declaring allegiance to the Alliance or the Horde. There are 10 million people in the world of Warcraft because Chuck Norris allows them to live. I'm Chuck Norris, and I approve this game. Ozzy Osbourne seemed to be a little upset that King Arthas was now the better known Prince of Darkness. I've been the Prince of Darkness since 1979. And at the time, Audrey Plaza was a burgeoning star on the show Parks and Recreation, famous for her deadpan style portraying April Ludgate. I told them I'd throw them into the depths of rage fire chasm. They thought I was bluffing. I've never faked an orgasm in my life. These commercials were widespread at the time, and I'm sure will go down in the history books somewhere as some of the most recognizable commercials of all time. We're certainly not forgetting them anytime soon, but that's it for today's video. Let us know in the comment section down below, what were your favorite World of Warcraft pop culture moments? Did we miss any that you thought should have been in the list? We'd love to hear it. If you want more videos about gaming news and culture, be sure to leave us a subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified when our new videos come out. I've been Frito for Predator Gaming UK. We'll see you guys next time.